The folded unipole antenna here is an excellent antenna for AM broadcasting. It has several advantages over the conventional series-fed vertical antenna, and it has quite an interesting history to it. It's a uh, product of the old folded dipole antenna, which was developed by amateur radio operators back in the 1930s. They found this antenna had two advantages for them. One was broad bandwidth, much better than the uh, single wire dipole. And the other advantage was that uh, back at that time, coaxial cable was not easily available to amateur radio operators. And so they made their own open wire or called ladder wire uh, transmission line, which is of much higher impedance. And the folded dipole presented about a 300 ohm impedance at its input, which uh, they could easily match with open wire ladder line. Now, as things developed, this was in the 1930s. This first showed up in the literature in about 1940. But by about 1950, somebody realized, well, if you can take a half of a dipole and ground base it and make it a quarter wave vertical antenna, you can do the same thing with a folded unipole. So they began to develop it. And it first showed up in the literature in a classic textbook called Radio Antenna Engineering by Laporte, who was the head of the RCA uh, engineering, uh, antenna engineering department at that time. Uh, the book is just excellent. It has a very good section on this antenna. However, there's one very serious mathematical mistake but uh, that doesn't stop you from using it. One advantage of this antenna is that the tower is grounded. Now, this is advantageous for several reasons. One, obviously, if you do take a lightning strike, it will go more directly to ground. But also, it has the advantage in that if you want to place VHF or UHF communications antennas and cell phone antennas onto an AM tower, you do not have to have a device called an isocoupler to get across the insulator. Anytime you cross an insulator, you have to have an isocoupler to get across it, and it's quite expensive and very lightning vulnerable. So it has that advantage. The next advantage is it has broad bandwidth to it, and it can be tunable, or it is, it is tunable in that there is a tuning stub up there toward the top, and the elevation of that tuning stub determines the input resistance to the antenna. The antenna will, uh, whenever it's set to whatever re your re resistance is desired, and bear in mind that most people like 50 ohms nowadays because most of the transmitter outputs and coaxial cable are 50 ohms, so they can set it to 50 ohms. At that point, you will have 50 ohms input to the antenna with some uh, uh, positive reactance, which is easily tuned out with a variable capacitor. The best thing to use is a vacuum variable capacitor. But all of these are very advantageous. We have learned over the years that by using a, a certain uh, computer program, we can build a unipole of very, very broad bandwidth. I call it the optimized bandwidth antenna. And it is very suitable for uh, digital radio, uh, the old stereo, when AM tried stereo, which uh, flopped. But at the same time, they needed broader bandwidth. And even on a conventional AM station with mono, uh, it, it gives you much better bandwidth. The sound is much better. And for directional antenna systems, if you can broaden the bandwidth of the individual towers in the directional antenna array, it can help you improve the bandwidth of the whole array. In general, directional antenna systems uh, often are narrow bandwidth because of the tuning problems that you uh, matching in uh, power distribution. And the unipole can help you greatly in this. It's uh, on very short towers, uh, which would, as a series antenna, would have very low resistance and be uh, lossy. The folded unipole elevates the input resistance up to a value that makes it a much more efficient antenna. Bear in mind that this is a model antenna that was taken to uh, conventions to demonstrate to customers what it would look like. A real AM broadcast tower is probably going to be well over 100 feet tall and can be as high as uh, quite a few hundred feet tall. If you may have an application 
to utilize the folding unipole and all its advantages, please contact us here.